The number of solutions of AX equals B uh, is uh, related to the question, or the matrix equation, TX equals AX is 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. Well, this number of solutions depends, for general B, on the matrix A, as you know, more specific on the number of pivots. So this means that the pivots of the a matrix A should be able to tell us whether the transformation T is 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. But how do they tell us this? Well, that's what you will learn in this video. The relation between the notion of 1 to 1 to 1 and the standard matrix. So we have a transformation T from Rn to Rm, T of x equals A times x. And now how can we determine, using the matrix A, whether our transformation T is 1 to 1 and or 1 to 2. Notice always this difference. Hey, you have on the one hand the matrix and on the other hand the transformation. Transformation can be 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 and the matrix cannot. You cannot say that the matrix is 1 to 2. That's, that's nonsense. You can only say this uh, from the transformation. So be careful about that. Well, the transformation T is 1 to 1. Uh, if Tx1 equals Tx2 implies that x1 equals x2. So if your transformation is 1 to 1, you have that if you have points mapping to the same image, the th those points have to be the same. You cannot have different points mapping to the same image. So if we have Tx1 equals Tx2, that means Tx equals Ax, so Ax1 equals Ax2, then you can simplify that to A times x1 minus x2 equals the zero factor. Uh, and we know our, uh, our transformation is 1 to 1 only if uh, a times x1 minus x2 equals 0 if x1 equals x2. So that means that the uh, equation ax equals 0, if you say x equals x1 minus x2, has only the solution x equals 0. And this is only the case, if and only if, if you have no free variables. Because if you would have free variables, you get immediately infinitely many solutions, and if you have no free variables, x equals 0 only has a solution x equals 0. So your transformation is 1 to 1, if and only if your matrix A has no free variables. Ah, we can see that from the uh, pivots. Well, that means that every column of your matrix A needs to have a pivot. So your transformation is T is 1 to 1, if and only if the corresponding standard matrix A has a pivot in every column. That now the on two case. T is on two if Tx equals B has a solution for every B in Rm. You have to find an X for any B in your code and such that Tx equals B. So that means that your matrix equation Ax equals B needs to have a solution for all B in Rm. So A equals B may never be inconsistent. Well, you know, criterion for that as soon as you have a row in every, uh, so uh, if you have a pivot in every row, your uh, uh, linear system will not be inconsistent. And as soon as some row doesn't have a pivot, you can always find a B such that your system becomes inconsistent. So this condition that the Ax equals B has a solution for all B Rm, that means that your uh, matrix needs to have a pivot in every row. So summarizing, the transformation T is onto if and only if the corresponding standard matrix A has a pivot in every row. That's an example. We have a T from R3 to R2 given by T of X equals A times X. And here we have our matrix A. Question, uh, is our transformation T 1 to 1, 1 to 2, both of them or neither of them? So we have to investigate uh, where the pivots are. So we do row reduction step, minus 4, times the first row added to the second row, and here we have our echelon form. And we see where the pivots are, they are on the first and second column. So we see every row has a pivot, so our transformation T is on two. Not every column has a pivot, the first column doesn't have a pivot, so we already see that our transformation is uh, not one to one. And we can check that, for example, if we take this x1 and this x2, if you compute T of x equals a times x1, uh, t of x2 equals a times x2, you get in both cases a zero vector. So you have two different uh, vectors mapping to the same point. So here you already see also that your transformation t is not one to one. So you see that even though the notions of transformations being on two and one to one 
and quite difficult and abstract, checking whether they, where, whether they are, whether transformation is one-to-one -one or not, uh, or onto or not. In the case of linear transformation where you have a standard matrix, it's actually quite easy because the pivots will tell you the answer. 